welcome to this lecture. Today we will see BELAN. It is balanced to unbalanced. So, the acronyms of BEL from balanced it is taken BAL and from unbalanced it is taken UN that gives it BELAN. Now, why the need alarm? What is the need of this BELAN? Actually, a balanced antenna usually has at least one symmetry plane which can be grounded due to the symmetric structure. For example, a dipole antenna has a symmetry plane you can see here that it has a symmetry plane uh, which crosses the antenna axis at the feeding point thereby dividing the antenna into two halves which are called two poles. If these two poles assume same current distribution the radiation efficiency is maximum. The current should go in one direction and the same current should return to the other one. The goal is to feed the antenna in such a way that these two poles have exactly the same current distribution that is the event symmetry. Now, this can be done please look at the view graph uh, that if we put the source if we put the source here now source generally we deal with balance sources balance sources means it has a positive as well as a negative polarity. So, the positive polarity will be connected to one half the negative polarity with another balance source balanced antenna no problem and we can say that I 1 is equal to I 2 obviously you see this in reality always you, we call that this is I 1 and this is I 2 because in reality this I 1 and I 2 are never equal why because this whatever current is returning because through the displacement current actually this current returning, but also both of these poles they are also getting some noise etcetera. So, that is called common mode current, but for radiation I need a differential mode current like this that one current is going here another current here. That means, there is a phase difference between them 180 degree phase difference between these two currents this should be there. So, this differential mode current only can radiate. So, this is desirable here we are assuming that noise is not there. So, if we can make this balance source is driving this then we have I 1 and I 2 and the antenna designer is happy. The next one is, but this is not practical the earlier case that was not practical because I cannot put the source into the center of the antenna basically source is at a distance. So, to do that there is a transmission medium or transmission line and if we have two wires. So, I have a source again a balance source I have a two wires uh, and one of the wire is connected to the upper half and another wire is here. This is a balance transmission line two wire transmission line is a balance transmission line because current is going here in one direction the same current is returning in the other direction. So, again this is now here due to since it is a distributed transmission line here is a forward going current wave and backward going current wave, but that is giving that I 1 and I 2 same obviously without noise. So, again the antenna designer is happy, but this is true for low frequencies at high frequencies what will happen if we do this this antenna this transmission line will not be able to take the power here it will start radiating. So, what we do we shield the antenna and the best possible shield is we give it a coaxial thing that means two conductors one is inside another is outside. Now, how do we connect them to the thing you see obviously you see this is a um, to prevent the radiation 
from the transmission line what we do there is an outer shield and that outer shield is connected to the lower half and the inner conductor that is taken out the direct conductor is put here. Here you see the problem is that this lower half this half actually this you can do um, any half you can connect like this. This lower half it is connected to the shield of the outer conductor. So, to the outer conductor it is loosely coupled that means through that shield it is getting coupled, but the this one is directly coupled. You can say that why we are connecting it to the shield we can directly connect it to the conductor. If we do that actually we are short circuiting the inner uh, conductor and outer conductor that means there will not be any current in the uh, differential mode current will be 0. So, that is why we cannot do that and we do it like this, but this makes the whole thing that there is an extra impedance seen because of this loose coupling there will be some impedance between this shield shield of the outer conductor and the ground and some current will flow to that. That will make this I 1 and I 2 unbalanced because they will not be now together you see that these are same, but this there will be another current, current component I out through this outer one. So, this is the source of all problems in high frequency because high frequency there was shield. So, in high frequency we need to have a quax type of thing and that gives rise to this. Even at higher frequencies if we have instead of quax if we use waveguide that is a single conductor. So, that will also suffer from something like this. Okay. So, watch. so, you see that net effect of all this is this flow of I 3 through the outer of the conductor. Here you can understand that I 1 is one current going, I 2 is that current returning, but then while it is getting connected there is an there is an extra impedance Z g which is undesired and that is giving this I 3 thing. So, to the uh, load that is the free space load it looks that the current one side is I 1 another side is I 2 minus I 3. Even if we make I 1 and I 2 same they will not be together. So, our job is to choke this I 3 actually a balance job is to choke this I 3 that it will do one way of doing this. This is called a one of the balloon is this bazooka balloon it is very popular. What you do that whatever previously you were doing apart from that you put another metal slip this outer metal slip. You see inside everything is like the previous one you have a metal slip and that metal slip is shorted to coax outer conductor here and what is the length of this metal slip lambda by 4. So, that means it is shorted here. So, at this point it is having an infinite it is an open circuit. So, it is having an infinite impedance that means this z g it is giving that is infinite. So, that will make I 3 very small and that will try to balance this I 1 and I 2 because I 3 is becoming reduced. This is the bazooka balloon. Now, there is another possibility is instead of um, putting that metal slip you can put a uh, another transmission line here of lambda by 4. Here you are shorting as before. Here what you are doing you are putting that this one in previous case it was not put anywhere here you are putting it to the that line 1 or the inner conductor connecting one. So, whatever here it is doing you see here the here it is shorted here it is open. So, that means already 
the outer conductor and inner conductor their currents are 180 degree out of phase you are giving another 180 degree out of phase because of this lambda by 4. So, that makes that whatever current is flowing I 3 the opposite current is flowing in the I 1 and so not opposite the same current is flowing in I 3. So, again that is making the two balance this is called lambda by 4 coaxial balance. Now, here you can say that actually this lambda 4 uh, why it was chosen actually any length of line of this would have done the purpose, but if we do not take lambda by 4 then the antenna operations will be disturbed because antenna operations have that relation that two currents are 180 degree out of phase. Now, only lambda by 4 can make that in any other case the two currents will balance each other, but the operations won't be that means the uh, inner conductor and outer conductor currents won't be out of phase. And this is what is this third configuration. So, this one is uh, outer conductor, this is the inner conductor coax outer conductor. This one no. I think this is ok. Now, so Belan then what it actually his job is now to make this um, balance to unbalance. This unbalance comes uh, because uh, ah, yes that I have already said. So, but current flow direction opposite. So, you get it the parallel auxiliary line is on. Yes. So, I think I have said in the Belan. So, this is you see typical actually we will see in the uh, any VHF particularly our TV boxes etcetera they have that Belan. Without that Belan actually you do not get a good reception because the efficiency is poor because the uh, if the two things are not equal to currents in differential mode then actually it appears that there are a lot of noise because noise also have the same effect that it makes the equal uh, common mode currents. So, without Belan actually it becomes that common mode current increases. So, to reduce that the Belan is used and if you put the Belan you will see that the antenna can radiate or receive the current quite efficiently. If you remove the Belan the antenna will not be its efficiency will drastically go down and that you can check that just remove the balloon and see the reception quality in any TV will be poor because Belan actually improves the differential mode characteristic. It is something like what we call CMRR in uh, operating uh, a thing or you will see in EMI EMC people that if you have a uh, multiple transmission lines then the common mode if you do not suppress you will get lot of noise in the uh, or interference in the other ones. So, to reduce that interference this Belan is used and it is a problem of high frequency because we are using coaxial line. 
So, generally in VHF and also uh, uh, yes, UHF, VHF, this problem, VHF, UHF, uh, TV transmission, this problem is there because coaxial is the medium, but you have a dipole there. We will later see that a design actually uh, the TV antenna was uh, this common mode and differential mode, this current concept was cleverly used to design a actual TV antennas, this VHF TV antennas which is called folded dipole array. Because you see one of the still problem is there that dipole has a radiation resistance of 73 ohm, whereas free space is a radiation resistance of 377 ohm. <coughs> so, if dipole is directly used to receive, there will be lot of reflection because it is a huge mismatch. So, can we have a dipole, but it will behave as a 377 ohm or 400 ohm uh, radiation resistance. Actually that problem will be solved by understanding this differential mode and antenna mode concept, but that is a for a later lecture. Thank you.